Hey, what's up, you guys? This is the Wild and Free TV, and we're... Wait. <laughs> hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome to the Wild and Free RV. Um, I'm Cameron, and I just wanted to first say I apologize for not releasing any videos lately. We've been really busy and blah, blah, blah. But also, I want to say that I am by no means a electrician, master electrician, certified RV worker. Anything, or trained or trained to do any of this <laughs> but um i'm going to talk a little bit about some problems that we ran into while we were at our stay here at lake Tawakani. but um about two o'clock in the afternoon yesterday we lost power in one of our breakers it flipped um i did everything I could to find it, find out what happened. Um, and I will show you an image of what I what I saw and kind of what to look for. Um, but on the top of the breaker, I realized that there was definitely some, some bad connections and stuff being made and some sparks coming. So that was not good. So uh, we went to Home Depot and we found the same breakers. Um, they were $9, $9 $10. Um, for the 1520s, uh, but we just got a 2020 amp, and then I'm also going to be replacing the 230 amps, um, just because because we do have an older RV. Um, I just figured I'd go ahead and replace them all. So yeah, um, with further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started on this. Okay, and one of the first things we're going to do is come down here to your inverter or anywhere that you may have your breakers and fuse box. Um, and we are gonna go ahead and just shut all these breakers off. So we're just gonna kill all power to the RV. And we're also gonna go outside and unhook it from the main before we start working on it. And then we are gonna go ahead and flip the 30 on the main breaker and I'm gonna go ahead and pull the power just so I know. And also just a handy tool I uh, picked up is a volt alert. It'll let me know if any hot, you know, hot wires, it'll alert me. So I know if there's any electricity that I need to know about. So always a handy tool to have, um, volt alert. I'm not sponsored. The power is off. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my voltmeter and just kind of make sure that we don't have any it would beep and give off a noise of some sort. I have no power at all coming from my inverter or any of the wires or these breakers, which is good. I want to do this one first just because this is the one that I've had the issues with. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this one first and put the wires exactly in the spots that they came out of okay and in order to get these breakers loose you just want to kind of grab it and grab from the bottom and pick up on it and this is a single pole it should snap right up like that and then you should be able to uh, wiggle it out of here some some way my gopro is kind of in the way and once we pull it, um, I'm not sure if you can see because my hand's in the way, but it looks like I have one wire running for my 20 amp, which is most likely going to be an AC. And then this one over here is actually technically a 15 amp. Um, and I got two running from it from underneath. So like I said, I'm going to just unhook one side, hook that side up, and then unhook the other side and hook that side up. That way I don't get any of the wires um, crisscrossed or in the wrong spot. I'm hooking up the the last set on this this breaker here. It's the uh I'm working on the 15 right now. So once we get these in place, I will start working on the 30 on the very right. I'm not sure what it's connected to. 
Don't give me line. I don't know. Like I said, I'm just kind of just kind of winging it. But the objective of this video is in hopes of, you know, hopefully you won't be scared to try new things. I mean, um, by, by all means, like I, I had no clue what I was doing when I started this. Um, but uh, I know that as long as I'm following the same pattern, the same wires, and granted, I could be totally off. Some electrician could watch this video and be like, dude, you are, you're way off. And I'm okay with that. I'll, uh, yeah, let me know. <laughs> but right now, I'm sorry for hitting the camera I'm in a small spot. But, uh, yeah, um, I'm just kind of going with it, doing my best in hopes that it'll work. And if you keep watching this video, you're going to see if it works. Let's see if I did okay. And that'd be cool. Because, uh, God dang it. Uh, Alright, so you want to make sure that your wires are in the clamp before you tighten it. Because it's annoying if you don't. Behind this panel, there's a lot more stuff that can get back here that I didn't know about. You just gotta wiggle with it sometimes. I don't even know if you can still see on the camera view. I just gotta move the camera. Sorry. Um. But yeah, um. There's a lot of things that I've. I've kind of just winged and went with on this. This RV that we that we got, it's a it's an older model, so we we initially knew that we had a lot of a lot of work in front of us as far as uh, cosmetic issues and things like that. Okay, that seems pretty tight. That seems good, but I'm gonna give it a couple more tightens just to make sure it's getting a strong, solid connection. Uh, All right. Okay, those are good. This one up. I don't trust it. Like I said, you want to make sure all your connections are good and tight because you don't want it to, to short out and mess it up all over again after you worked on it. Here, you can let go of it now. After you spent all this time on the, the floor and the dog here. <laughs> yeah, we do have a dog, so. There's the dog hairs. Just looking in here. She knows, what she knows what's up. Um. <clears throat> Alright, that one has to be in there. That one's tight as hell. And I'm gonna give this one some tightening. Okay, so I think we're good on the. Let me check my view. Okay, we're kind of off here. I think we're finally good on the 2015 breaker that we pulled in the middle. Which, I pulled my other 30 over here. That's why it's missing this far side. Um, but yeah. And, you, if you get some of uh, the sparks and stuff, you can see that. Um, it's always good to get sandpaper, sandpaper or something to kind of clean that off. Um, I don't really have any of that, so... My finger will do just fine. Um, but when replacing these, you pull up from the bottom to remove them. You kind of work with the bottom to get them in. You want to put the bottom in first. So you just kind of want to go back there. Find the clip in the post. Any day now. Uh, all right, will you hold the slide again? Yeah. Thank you. Any day now. You just get that thing to... To go right on there. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. 
like that. You just want to push it up in there. Make sure that your wires are still good and connected, which they are. And move on to the next breaker. So the next breaker we got is going to be our 30 amp general energy um, breaker. One, one pole, single pole. Um, my handy dandy screwdriver. This one just had one wire and you can, it's a solid copper wire. Um, I don't know if both of the 30s are going to have solid. I would assume just because they draw more energy, they're going to not be the, the frayed um, copper. Damn camera again. Sorry guys, I'm going to have to move it. But, uh, This one gives me a little bit more room. I can actually hold these wires and see a little bit. Uh, maybe not. I'm trying to. No, down I, here? I, let me see it. Oh. All right. No, I know. I just need to see where the where the thingy was. Oh wait. And by the way. Um, Always make sure you have the right tools on hand. Um, Ash here had to make a emergency run to the, the local Dollar General to get me a, uh, a set of flat tip screwdrivers because my universal tips would not fit into here because of the weird angle. Okay, now that one's in there really tight, so same thing, hopefully a little bit easier this time. You can put it on there and it should push right back onto the, there should be a little um, tag in the back, a little metal thing that goes into the breaker itself. And that is what we're trying to find right now. And once we get it in there, it should just pop right in, or slide in, I should say. Unless if I got the wrong breaker. Ah, da, 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 da. I can't see nothing. Wait, 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 there it is. Okay, so that one's in. Yeah, it's a little weird looking, but it's a, it's a little funky. It's a little funky. Um, so this one and this one are both new. Okay, so we have everything hooked up correctly, I think. Um, now we are gonna go ahead and go outside and turn the main back on and then come in and flip the breakers and see what happens. So let's go do that. Okay, I just went outside and turned my main on. So I'm going to do the same here. The first 30 amp is my main. I'm going to flip it. All right. I'm going to flip my 15. Should turn on my converter or inverter. Looks like we have power. 20 is for AC. We'll flip that. We'll check that in a second. This last 30. I don't really know what it is. So far, so good. So, if you could hit that AC, please make sure that it works. We got AC. So everything's working great so far. I don't notice any any marks or any shorting or anything of that nature. So, so far, so good. I'm gonna sit down here and watch it for a little bit, and I hope you guys enjoyed or. Got encouraged to try some of the things on your RV yourself. So um, be sure to like and subscribe and check out our next video. I'll try to post. I'm going to try to start making videos weekly. Um, I can't promise anything yet, but I'm really shooting for that. 
if not more. But uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching the video, and we'll see you next time. Bye, all.